after you're reading on screen, somebody asked Jason McCord if he plans on extending the player count from 60 to, you know, obviously more than 60. Now, I know you're probably thinking of Warzone, which is understandable, but do we really want Apex to be more than 60 players? Before I read to you his description, I'm going to kind of give you guys an opinion on what I think of the matter. I myself have said that Apex needs more players. Now, I don't think it needs 100 players because, frankly, I don't think the map is made for 100 players. The loot is garbage. Sometimes when you land in areas, you end up leaving with no body armor or you end up leaving with a pistol and attachments for energy weapons when you have a p20 on you so the more players they add i think it'll really mess up the loot pool and you're just gonna see on the kill feed people punching each other to death which if you think about it when playing a battle royale the smart thing will be when you land yeah you're probably gonna want to punch the person but be smart and actually run for a bin or run for the first gun so you can have something to actually defend yourselves with now like I said, I have said that the game sometimes does feel like it needs more players, especially World's Edge, in my opinion. Considering that the map, like I said, in my opinion, I feel like it's bigger. There's more buildings and things. I feel like more people, maybe an extra 10 players would do the game justice. Or maybe even an extra 20 players, you know, up it to 80 players, no more than 80 players. I think would be good or at least make a game mode where there's 80 players you know just for the fuck of it like why not who doesn't want to jump in a battle royale with hella people and I know it's not warzone you know that has a hundred or up to you know 200 players it's not warzone you know it's a crazy number but the fact that warzone is able to double their players without any problems it goes to show you that they planned to run a lot of players on one server. Obviously, you know the Apex servers tend to be shit sometimes. So, uh, well, sometimes is a bit of an understatement. But basically, Jason McCord said, probably not anytime soon. We think the game is balanced for 60 players and it's optimized for 60 players. And our maps are made for 60 players. So many reasons. Basically, he gave a big fuck you. To the question that was asked sorry for my language but it's true the way he responded kind of seems a bit of an asshole way kind of like saying we're not changing it we designed it this way we're designers and it's staying this way which you know cool i respect that you guys did make the game but we're the fans and we kind of do make or break the game literally because there's a lot of bugs that we intentionally find and abuse for this specific reason, there's a lot of things you guys don't change in the game that I feel like should be changed. Or at least, you know, tried upon. Why not add a game mode with more players just to kind of see, you know, give people a chance to actually drop high kill games. You know, I'm sure the sweats would love it. But basically, that was his reply. 60 players, 60 players, 60 players. So many reasons. That's pretty much it in a nutshell. So... I haven't really seen a lot of people ask it. I'm sure a lot of people have gave the opinion because I've, you know, heard it from Dr. Disrespect that what Apex needs is, you know, to up the player count per game. But, obviously, those are things that will probably never honestly come. So, next thing we're going to talk about is a Pathfinder bug that's currently in game. It will probably get patched Tuesday, so if you play Pathfinder... And you are on King's Canyon. Go ahead and abuse that bug right now. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys what the bug pretty much is. Hopefully it restarts. As you guys can see, they're about to put a zip line on the jump tower now this person has found a lot of bugs in the game he kind of just does it for fun i suppose and as you can see it sets the zip line all the way across by the loot bunker making it one of the longest zip 
lines in Apex. Now I'm not sure if this is a zip line they're putting up intentionally or something that will be coming. You get what I'm saying? Like maybe there's actually supposed to be a zip line there to connect one tower to another just to kind of allow people to have more mobility and not get squished in that one building that they're at, even though you could get lasered off the zip line fairly easy. But nice little Pathfinder bugger glitch. You guys should go ahead and check that out. But with that said, it is your boy Lucky. Leave a comment, like, subscribe. The update is almost here, a couple of days away. Hopefully you guys are hype. I'm hella hyped. Hope you're having a great day or night. Peace, guys. And girls, of course.